find the spectral decomposition of the matrix A. So our goal here is to rewrite matrix A as being equal to matrix Q times matrix D times the transpose of matrix Q in the linear combination representation, lambda sub one times vector Q sub one times the transpose of vector Q sub one plus lambda sub two times vector Q sub two times the transpose of vector Q sub two. Now, in order to write this spectral decomposition of matrix A, we need to start by finding the eigenvalues of matrix A and finding the corresponding eigenvectors. So to get started here, we need to find matrix A minus lambda times the two by two identity matrix. So our given matrix A is negative two, six, six, negative two. And we are adding the two by two matrix minus lambda, zero, zero, minus lambda. Combining up those like terms, we are left with the two by two matrix minus two minus lambda, six, six minus two minus lambda. Now in order to find the eigenvalues, we now need to find the determinant of the matrix we just found. So taking the determinant of the two by two matrix, minus two minus lambda six, six minus two minus lambda, we are left with minus two minus lambda squared minus 36, and expanding this binomial product, we have four plus four lambda plus lambda squared minus 36. And combining up these like terms, we attain the characteristic polynomial, lambda squared plus four lambda minus 32, which we can fortunately factor to lambda plus eight multiplied by lambda minus four. And to find the eigenvalues, we set this characteristic polynomial equal to zero, which leaves us with the eigenvalues. Lambda is equal to negative eight, and lambda is equal to four. So now that we have these eigenvalues of our given matrix A, we need to find their corresponding eigenspaces to identify the eigenvector for each eigenvalue. So case number one, we need to consider when lambda is equal to negative eight. Now we are looking for the null space of the matrix A plus eight times the two by two identity. So our given matrix A is negative two, six, six negative two, and we are adding the two by two matrix eight, zero, zero, eight. Combining up these like terms, we are left with the cute two by two matrix, six, 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 six. Now to find the null space, we are going to augment this matrix with the zero vector. So taking the matrix we just found, we can immediately reduce both rows by multiplying each row by a factor of one sixth, which leaves us with the two by two matrix, one, 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 one. And taking our first pivot, we can use it to eliminate the entry below it by doing minus the first row times the second row, which leaves us with the matrix one, one, zero, zero. So this matrix is in row reduced echelon form and it's letting us know that x sub one is equal to minus x sub two, and that x sub two is a free variable. So we can say that the solution set vector x is the set of all vectors in R2, where x sub one is defined as minus x sub two, and x sub two is just itself because it's a free variable. So pulling out that common scalar x sub two, we have x sub two multiplied by the vector negative one, one. So we can conclude that the eigenspace that corresponds to the eigenvalue lambda equals negative eight is defined by the set spanned by the vector negative one, one. Beautiful.
beautiful. And very similarly, we need to do the same thing for our second eigenvalue. So we need to consider when lambda is equal to 4. And we need to find the null space of the matrix A minus 4 times the 2 by 2 identity. So our given matrix A is negative 2, 6, 6, negative 2. And we are adding the 2 by 2 matrix, negative 4, 0, 0, negative 4. Combining up these like terms, we are left with the 2 by 2 matrix, negative 6, 6, 6, negative 6. Now to find the null space, again, we are going to augment this matrix with the 0 vector and row reduce to row reduced echelon form. So taking that 2 by 2 matrix we just found, we can again immediately simplify by multiplying each row by a scalar multiple of 1, 6. So excuse me, negative 1, 6. Which leaves us with the matrix 1, negative 1, negative 1, 1. And using our first pivot to eliminate the entry below it, we can do this by simply adding the first row to the second row, which leaves us with the row equivalent matrix 1, negative 1, 0, 0, which is in row reduced echelon form. Woohoo! And this matrix, reduced matrix, is letting us know that x sub 1 is equal to positive x sub 2, and that x sub 2 is a free variable. So we can say that the solution set is the set of all vectors x in R2, where x sub 1 is equal to x sub 2, and x sub 2 is itself because it's a free variable. And factoring out that common scalar multiple x sub 2, we're left with the vector 1, 1. So therefore, the eigenspace corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda equals 4 is equal to the span of the vector 1, 1. Now, with these two eigenspaces, we can conclude that the eigenvectors of matrix A are the vectors V sub 1 and V sub 2. Now, observing these eigenvectors, we can see that they're orthogonal. We know that the dot product of these two eigenvectors is equal to zero, but unfortunately they're not unit vectors. So in order to be able to find the orthogonal matrix Q, we need to normalize the eigenvectors. So we can go ahead and let column vector Q sub one be defined by normalizing vec eigenvector V sub one so eigenvector v sub 1 has the components, negative 1, 1, and finding its length, we have the square root of negative 1 squared is 1, plus 1 squared is 1. So we have the scalar multiple 1 by the square root of 2, multiplied by the eigenvector with components, negative 1, 1, and distributing that scalar multiple through, we have the vector with components, minus 1 by the square root of 2, 1 by the square root of 2. And very similarly, for column vector q sub 2, we can define this column vector by normalizing eigenvector v sub 2. So vector v sub 2 has the components 1, 1. And fortunately, the length of this vector is the same, square root of 2. So we have that scalar multiple, 1 by the square root of 2, multiplied by the vector with components 1, 1 which leaves us with the vector with components 1 by the square root of 2, 1 by the square root of 2. So we can conclude now that the set q sub 1, q sub 2, defined by these two vectors, is an orthonormal set. Now, the last thing that we need to do before we can officially write this spectral decomposition is to compute the product of each vector q sub i with the transpose of vector q sub i. So our first product is the vector q sub 1 
multiplied by the transpose of vector q sub 1. So we can take the vector q sub 1 that we just found above and multiply this by the transpose. So we have the vector negative 1 by the square root of 2, 1 by the square root of 2. Now, by the row column rule of matrix multiplication, we have the first row by the first column, which leaves us with 1 half. We have the first row by the second column, which leaves us with negative 1 half. Second row by the first column leaves us with minus 1 half. And the second row by the second column leaves us with positive 1 half. We also need to compute the product vector q sub 2 multiplied by the transpose of vector q sub 2. And again, taking the vector q sub 2 that we found above, we now want to multiply this vector by its transpose. 1 by the square root of 2, 1 by the square root of 2. And again, applying the row column rule for matrix multiplication, we have the first row by the first column, which gives us 1 half. The first row by the second column gives us 1 half. And we have the second row times the first column, which leaves us with 1 half. And the second row by the second column, which also leaves us with 1 half. Beautiful! So we are officially ready to write out the spectral decomposition of matrix A, which we know is the linear combination or representation of matrix A, where we have matrix A is equal to lambda sub 1 multiplied by the product of vector q sub 1 times the transpose of vector q sub 1 plus lambda sub 2 multiplied by the product of vector q sub 2 times the transpose of vector q sub 2. Making this our beautiful final answer.